We're live from Chevy Chase. And we're back, and it's now time for Talk of the Town. And today we're talking about plant-based products. Us Soap make, makes locally crafted small batch soaps, beard products, and more. And we have owners Jason Childers and Gregory Geisler here with details. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. Hi, thanks so we had you on uh, at the holidays. We've had you on uh, one other time, I think, yep, too. Yeah, for, for the mercantile market. The yes. mercantile market, yes. And so you do, tell everybody what you do. So we make natural plant-based products and we make truly natural products. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot of products out there that put the label natural, but they're full of synthetic fragrances and colors. And once that happens, I think natural's out the window. Yeah. Yes, I see that. And so uh, you all have what looks like today a science experiment going on here. <laughs> Talk yeah. a little bit about what you have here and your production of your products. Uh, well, right here we have some natural ways to color our soaps and other products. So what we have is dried hibiscus flowers, turmeric, uh, dried indigo leaves, and some French green clay. These are really? all grown or extracted from the earth, so they are natural. They, they are literally part of what keeps this planet alive. Yeah. So that's how we color our stuff instead of using synthetic dyes. And then Greg has his uh, blends of oil here. We we'll always use um, pure essential oils, no fragrance oils, and always make sure that they're not chemically extracted. They're either expeller pressed or steam distilled. It's very important. Keep all those chemicals away from us. Yeah, yeah, because we're surrounded by chemicals yes. in plastics and any of our products that you yes. see. And I think we have fall fallen under this uh, fallacy of thinking that if it says natural, exactly. it's good for you. You should mm -hmm. use it. You should put it on your body. But our skin is our largest organ, and if we're putting yes, fake stuff exactly on it, right. it, guess what? It's going inside of us, and you all know that. Right. Exactly. So that's why we're doing this, because there's so much misrepresentation out there, and that's what we're passionate about in making products that have none of the junk in there. Yeah. So we encourage people to learn what's on the ingredients labels and to see when there's synthetic ingredients to move on. There's a lot of stuff that has the synthetic stuff, but... There are plenty of things out there that don't as well. And mm -hmm. as a result of that, you have a big initiative this year for the new year, right? right. 2024, what's it called? It, and talk, well, talk it, about it. it's a new year, a healthy you. And yes. what we're doing, we're wanting to educate people about this very thing. So about looking to see if there's synthetic fragrance or synthetic color, particularly in body products. That's the big culprits on the fake stuff. Yeah. And even if the ingredients are natural, all the stabilizers to preserve shelf life, those are chemicals. Yeah. I don't think it'll help preserve you. Kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. yeah exactly. Too bad it won't, you know, help preserve us. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, it may be to our detriment. Right. And, too. and you right. know, we don't use the preservatives in ours, which means they're not going to have as long of a shelf life. However, we encourage you to just use it when you get it, yes. and you don't have to worry about it. But they still are going to last about a year anyway oh, without really? that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are What are your most popular products? Well, uh, I would say the soaps, which I make, uh, we sell a ton of, but Greg's beard oil is great too, which is, these are his oil blends right here. Mm -hmm. And we just uh, launched uh, liquid Castile foaming hand soap, which is really oh. nice, very luxurious. What's Castile? Uh, I've never heard of that. Castile is, um, is warm processed soap as opposed to what Jason makes the bars, cold processed soap. Okay. I use potassium hydroxide and he uses sodium hydroxide. Okay. It's just a different process. And the Castile soap is one that's mainly olive oil and coconut oil. So Gosh, that those are good for you. Items. Exactly. Well, and I feel like you guys is. are walking testimonies because your beards look amazing. <laughs> yes. And my <laughs> husband, Stevie J, has your beard oil product. And oh, he absolutely nice. loves it. Yeah. And his beard looks great, by the way, too. Great. great. What made you guys decide to do this? So, uh, quite a few years ago, I was having a lot of skin problems. The dermatologist was telling me what I couldn't use. Hmm. And turns out... Um, most everything at the store was on the list I couldn't use when oh. you would look at the ingredients list. So I decided one day I was just going to make some soap, learn Take how to do into it. matters your own hands. <laughs> Made soap. It turned out really good. People really liked it. And we started there. And then Greg spun off into the perfumes and beard oil. Oh. Mm. Well, uh, we love it when you come because then our office and our studio yeah. smell <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Uh, thanks. That's right. It uh, does smell pretty good. It does. It smells great. So I think this is important. You know, we're starting off the new year. We want to think about how we can be better. And one of the things we can think about is what not to put 
in our bodies right. and on our bodies. Exactly, so and there's so much emphasis on eating right and hydration and sleep, but right. we forget about, like you said, skin is the largest organ on the body and transdermal yeah. absorption is a very viable way of introducing things, whether they're beneficial or harmful right. into your body. Well, and you all have an event coming up, correct? Where you're gonna be educating? We do, we have a class at Poppy and Pomelo on Saturday. So it's gonna be making your own soap. It's gonna be really fun. Oh, that's But fun. we're gonna be talking about this as well. Yeah. And we did something similar actually last night at Lexington's first nerd night ever at Blue Stallion Brewery. And oh, they did a whole I saw big that. Oh, that's so fun. It, it was, was great. Yeah. Was it a good turnout? Yes. 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 Oh, Good. So people can still come to the Poppy and Pomelo event. They can sign up online, okay. and then we're going to have we're going to have some additional uh, classes set up. So if you can't make this one, there's going to be future events. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, yes. for doing good and teaching us something today. This is great. Us Soap and Body. All of their information is up on the screen.